Hello and welcome friends. In today's video, we're gonna learn about how to multiply and divide decimal numbers with power of 10. It is really, really easy. So let's start. Before starting that, let's see what is a decimal number. Any number from base 10 number system is a decimal number. In base 10 number system, each digit in a number has place value in power of 10. Decimal number may contain whole number part and or, or decimal part. Though in general, we only call numbers with one or more digits in right hand side of decimal point as decimal numbers. So friends, this was decimal number in theory. Now let's look at decimal numbers example. So friends, here I have taken decimal number 426.75. To learn the concept of multiplying and dividing a number with power of 10, we have to understand the place value of digits in it. So, if we look our number closely, we know it has got a decimal point. The left hand side part of decimal point is known as whole number part and the right hand side of a decimal point is known as decimal part. So we will start looking at the place values of digits from whole number part. So first digit in left hand side of a decimal point is 6 and it has got place value as 1. Second digit is 2 and it has got place value as 10. Third digit is 4 and it has got place value as 100. Now let's look at decimal part of decimal number and its place value. So first digit in the right hand side is 7 and it has got place value as 10th. Second digit is 5 and it has got place value as 100th. So friends, we have seen that the value is increasing when we are going from right to left. But did you notice any pattern in values increase? Think about it for a second. Yes, there is a pattern and pattern is that value is increasing in power of 10. So if we are going one left place, the value is increasing in 10 power 1. If we are going two left places, value is increasing in 10 power 2. Similarly, if we are going from left to right, the place value is decreasing and decrease is happening in 10 power again. So, if we are going one right place, the place value will be decreased by 10 power 1. If we are going two right places, the place value will be decreased by 10 power 2 and so on. Have you ever wondered why this is happening? Why the place value is increasing or decreasing in 10 power? Do you remember in my initial explanation about decimal number, I was telling that the decimal number is a base 10 number system. That's why 10 is so important that the place value of digits is happening in 10 power. Friends, I think by now we already understood what a decimal number is, what is a decimal part of it, what is a whole number part of it and how to get the place value of each digit in a decimal number and which way 
place value increases and which way place value decreases. So now it's time to learn about the multiplication of a decimal number with power of 10. So here I have taken the same number and we're going to multiply it with 10. 10 is nothing but it is 10's power 1 because it contains 1 0. Whenever we are multiplying any decimal number with 10's power, we will just shift the decimal point the same places as the power of 10 is. So in this case, because 10's power is 1, so we will we will shift our decimal point towards right one place so our result will become 4267.5 now let's try to multiply same number with 100 so 100 contains two zeros that means we are multiplying the number with tens power 2 so this time we will shift our decimal point two places towards right okay and because we have got no digit in right side of decimal, so we can remove this decimal point. Now let's try multiplying the same number with 1000, that means 10's power 3. We have to shift decimal point three places this time, but we have got only two digits after decimal point so what we will do we will add a zero and then we will shift our decimal point and like previous example we can remove decimal points here because it has got no digits in right hand side of it now let's try multiplying with 10000 so this time we have to shift our decimal points four places towards right so we will add two zeros and then we will shift our decimal point and in the end we can simply remove our decimal points so friends here we have seen multiplication of a same number with different powers of 10 and we have seen the result of these and we know it's really really easy to multiply a decimal number with power of 10 we just have to take care of shifting the decimal that's it now friends now let's look at another example of multiplication with power of 10 this time i have taken the number 0 0.0823 and we are multiplying it with 10 first we know it has got tens power one so we will be shifting our decimal one place towards right and our result will become 0 0.823 now if we have to multiply it with 100 we will be shifting our decimal point two places towards right and our result will become 8.23 here the leading zero was not having any significance so we have removed it if we multiply it with thousand we will be shifting our decimal point three places and after shifting we can remove our leading zero our result has become 82.3 it's time to multiply with 10,000. So we will be shifting our decimal point four places. And after shifting it, we have seen that decimal point has got no digit in right side. So we can remove the decimal point as well as the leading zero. Our answer will become 823. So friends, these were two examples through which I tried to decimal multiplication with power of 10 i hope you will find it really easy to understand and it will clear your doubt about multiplying with power of 10 now it's time for division with power of 10 here i have taken the number 67.5 and we gonna divide it 
with 10. So in multiplication, we have seen that we were shifting our decimal point towards right. In division, just the opposite happens. We place or move our decimal point towards left. Okay. So here for 67.5, if we have to divide it with 10, we will be shifting our decimal point one place towards left and our answer will become 6.75. Now let's try dividing it with 100. So this time what we will be doing, we will be shifting our decimal point two places left. So our answer will become 0.675. If we do same with 1000, we have to shift our decimal point three places, but we have got only two digits in left hand side. So what we should do, we will add a zero and then we will shift our decimal point. So our answer will become 0 0.0675. For 10,000, we will be shifting four places. So that means we have to add two zeros in left hand side so after doing so our decimal point can be shifted four places and our answer will become 0 0.00675 now let's look at another example so here i have taken number 7621 and we will divide it with 10 Friends, are you thinking at this point that 7621 is not a decimal number? It is decimal number. Remember the definition where I was telling decimal number may or may not have decimal point. So if a decimal number is not showing decimal point, it means it contains the decimal point in the extreme end at right hand side. So her Decim so our decimal number is can be rewritten as 7621 point so now if we have to shift our decimal point one place towards left because we are dividing it with 10 our result will become 762.1 if we divide it with 100, we will get our answer as 76.21 by shifting our decimal point two places towards left. In the case of 1000, we will get our answer 7.621. And in case of 10,000, we have to shift our decimal point four places so we will get our result as 0.7621 so friends these were few examples with which i try to explain decimal multiplication and division with power of 10 i hope i made the concept clear to you so let's see the key notes for today in multiplication, shift the decimal point to the right side, counting places equivalent to zeros. If required, use zero for padding. And in division, shift the decimal point to the left side, counting places equivalent to zeros. If required, use zero for padding. So we have seen the example of both of these cases. Friends, practice questions for today are these. Please write your answers in comment section. I will be waiting for your reply. And if you find my video at all helpful for you, please like it, share with your friends and subscribe to my channel. It's free. Your comments, your like and subscription really encourages me a lot. And thank you so much for watching this video.